Hello there, welcome again to Top 5. My name is Kevin Phillips Momani and of course before I give you more about the Uhuru Raila Pact, just hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel that should be on your screen somewhere here. Yeah, there, there, there. Alright, on Friday, March 9th, 2018, Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga held a surprise joint conference at Arambe House in Nairobi. The president and the leader of the opposition assured Kenyans of a new political beginning. Looks like they are determined to end the hostilities of the August and October 2017 elections after all. Today, Tuko presents you top five things to know about the Uhuru Raila Pact. Well, number one, Kenyatta and Odinga have agreed to roll out a development program and implement their joint goals. The two signed a communique vowing to deal with corruption, ethnic friction, and lack of national ethos. Number two, NASA members feel the difference. All Kenyans remember very well the symbolic swearing-in of Raila Odinga as the People's President on January 30th. We all know what followed then. The government of the day responded by arresting or otherwise pressuring Raila's allies and supporters. Once the Uhuru Raila Pact was signed, security details of NASA MPs were restored and their cars <laughs> returned. All right. It is expected that the confiscated passports will also be returned to their respective holders. <laughs> Number three, very interesting. Charges against the Wanjigis were dropped. <laughs> it is also expected that the government will drop charges against billionaire Jimmy Wanjigi and his father Maina Wanjigi. Jimmy is believed to have been financing NASA's political activities. He was accused of handling illegal firearms. His father, a former cabinet minister, was accused of violating the regulations on storage and safe custody of firearms. Number four, of course this caught the minds of many out there. Absence of key figures. The deputy president, William Ruto, was notably absent at the Nairobi Harambe House press conference. He however tweeted a message of support and congratulated Uhuru and Raila on the development. <laughs> a rare occasion probably for many. Also absent were Raila's NASA core principles. Recall that Wipers Kalonzo Musioka, Ford Kenya's Moses Wetangula, and ANC's top chef Musalia Mudavadi were not present at Raila's January swearing in as People's President. Finally, number five, what's next? The Uhuru Raila Pact will most likely drastically change Kenya's political landscape, especially in the context of the 2022 elections. Is Raila preparing his grand exit from elective politics? Is he rebranding himself ahead of the 2022 elections? Will Ruto's presidential bid be affected? Only time will tell. The United Nations has reacted positively to President Kenyatta and opposition leader Raila Odinga's bid to unite Kenyans. We, of course, as Tuko, will be watching how the situation unfolds. We hope that in any case, Kenyans will get something good out of it. What do you think? Well, that's it from us, guys. I hope you enjoyed this particular episode. My name, of course, always remains Kevin Phillips Momani. And until next time, keep safe. Bye, 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 bye. Yes. Yeah.